गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस वंदना पै इन टूडेज लेक्चर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप डेवलपमेंट वी विल बी स्टडिंग सम ऑफ द थेरीज इंक्लूडेड इन टू यूर यूनिट नंबर सेकेंड टाइटल डैस एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप येस एज लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर यू विल बी स्टार्टिंग टोटल थ्री थेरीज इन टू एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप विच आर दिस थ्री थेरीज ओके फर्स्ट वन इज जोसेफ शुम पीटर्स इनोवेशन थेरी सेकेंड वन इज मैक्सिलैंड थेरी ऑफ नीड अचीवमेंट एंड द थर्ड वन इज हे गेन्स थेरी ऑफ स्टेटस विड्रॉवल ओके नाव इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव गॉन थ्रू जोसेफ शुम पीटर्स इनोवेशन थेरी ओके इन विच वी हैव हाईलाइटेड और इन विच द थिंकर दे हैड फोकस्ड एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप on development of a new combination okay those or that new combination it was resulting into combination of five things okay which were prefixed as new okay which were those five three uh, five things which are included in the combination let's revise it yes first one is new introduction of new good then new method of production then new market then new source of supply of raw material and the last one is new organization okay what was the aim of this theory yes the entrepreneur this person he should be able to carry out a new combination into his enterprise okay means he should be introducing a new product then he should be using a new method of production okay means which will make him distinct from others then what he should be doing yes he should be searching for new market wherever he will be selling his goods okay wherever he will be distributing his goods and services okay then he is required to search for a new source of supply of raw materials okay now whenever he is searching for a new location or a new place for distribution then surely he is required for okay he is he will be requiring additional raw materials or if he thinks that his output should be still better his product should be still perfect then what he can do is he can search for a new supplier who will be providing him with superior quality of inputs okay with this the last one was new organization new organization means he should be establishing a new structure of resources okay through which he can enjoy success or he can be successful into the market okay so overall what this thinker just a shum peter focuses on his theory or highlights into his theory okay what is the gist of this theory the theory uh, gist of this theory itself is that okay the entrepreneur he should be innovative in nature okay and what he should be doing yes he should be dreaming about establishing a private kingdom and he should be able to conquer it by creating joy and getting things done okay which always inspires him so with this let's start the second theory okay the theory given by maxiland okay what is this theory okay the title of this theory is need achievement theory this theory of entrepreneurship is developed by david maxiland David Maxiland and his colleagues studied the motives responsible for entrepreneurial development and concluded that high achievement motive induces an individual towards entrepreneurship Maxiland states that individuals with high need achievement will be motivated to become entrepreneur people with high need achievement motive are more likely to succeed as entrepreneurs okay so 
डेविड मैक्सीलैंड इन्वेंटेड और प्रोपाउंडेड दिस थेरी इन 1960 ओके दिस थेरी इज आल्सो नोन एज साइकोलॉजिकल थेरी ऑफ एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप ओके वाइट इज सीड एज साइकोलॉजिकल थेरी और वाइट इज कॉल्ड एज साइकोलॉजिकल थेरी ऑफ एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप यस इट इज इट इज रिलेटेड टू सम मेंटल स्टेट ऑफ द एंट्रप्रीनियर सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज साइकोलॉजिकल theory of entrepreneurship yes it is related to the mindset of the entrepreneur that is related to the mindset of that person mentality of that person okay because though we employ other resources still the most active factor of production the most active factor into your enterprise itself is the owner of the business whom we term as entrepreneur so this theory it focuses on his mindset mind mental state okay and it focuses on the thinking of the entrepreneur also so it is called as psychological theory of entrepreneurship then there is achievement need which tends to characterize successful entrepreneurs okay means this person this entrepreneur he has a strong achievement need okay means he always thinks that i should be achieving something okay i should i should be achieving something this is the mentality or this is the thought of this person okay due to this thought itself it tends to characterize successful entrepreneurs okay means if if there are some entrepreneurs okay if there are cert, certain entrepreneur okay who are entrepreneurs yes entrepreneur is a person who initiates his business okay he has started the business now if this person okay according to david uh, david uh, maxiland okay if this person suppose this entrepreneur wants to become successful then surely a characteristics which always should be a part of his personality that is achievement need okay means i have incepted the business i have initiated the business yes something i should be achieving okay what is the something yes maybe the position in the market okay maybe distinctiveness okay maybe innovation maybe dynamism okay maybe um competitive advantage okay anything from this or more things okay or uh, something which is different than all the factors which we have highlighted just now okay so this might be his achievement okay and he should always be thinking about this achievement okay for example maybe the reward profit okay i should be getting more amount of profit this might be his dream okay or he might be thinking that okay though there are many competitors in my product line okay though there are many competitors who are working in the same field where i am working still if if i should prove my distinctiveness okay if i should mark my distinctiveness than others or than other competitors then surely something should be there into my enterprise okay which will help me to become successful okay so whenever i think in this way okay i think in this way i should attain that position then surely i have a strong need to achieve something okay so my goal is set okay my goal is set for example okay um, yes to earn maximum profit it is one of the uh, aim of my enterprise okay or the second thing is okay to have a stability in the market okay might be uh, aim of my business okay to have competitive advantage 
that might be aim of my business so whenever i think about all these aims all these objectives yes okay i will take 100% efforts okay as an entrepreneur i will take 100% efforts to achieve it okay so achieving my goal is the need of my hour is it okay achieving that goal okay accomplishing that goal is need of the hour so this thinker says that okay any person any entrepreneur if he has that strong achievement need okay to achieve something is the need then surely he will be successful because he will take all those efforts he will give his 100% towards achievement of that dream okay then this itself okay this itself stimulates entrepreneurs to greater efforts okay see these people that is entrepreneur person this person okay he loves to take risk right okay risk taking ability is one of the function of entrepreneur right acceptance of risk and uncertainties is one of the function which the entrepreneur performs okay and if he is good at risk taking then only he will be known as a successful entrepreneur right okay so this person he loves to take risk and this itself stimulates them to greater efforts okay because what is the risk all about yes see if you have incorporated a business if you have established a business or your enterprise okay some day your enterprise might be facing or might be suffering losses some day your enterprise might be earning good amount of profit okay now every phase for example every phase may be profit or loss it is not stagnant okay it might be stagnant if you don't take efforts in that respect but still okay profit or loss these are okay you have incorporated enterprise you might earn profit or you might suffer loss okay now this risk taking ability this risk taking ability itself motivates you or strengthens you to take greater efforts okay now whenever you take greater efforts in respect to your organization surely yes you will achieve something which is distinct from others okay now there are certain internal factors okay into every human beings that is human values and motives right okay now every person has certain human value and motives okay through this human values and motives itself he exploits opportunities okay so every entrepreneur he should be having certain internal factors that is human values and motives okay through his human values and motives itself he exploits opportunities exploits opportunities means okay he is that keen to see opportunity into every challenge okay whatsoever might be challenge for example changes in the market rapid changes in the technology okay if these are certain challenges before your organization okay if you are an entrepreneur entrepreneur and you are good at human values and motives you do have motives into your life surely what you will be doing okay though others treat this changes and adaptability and all those things as a challenge okay you as a person what you will be doing yes you will work harder you will take uh, efforts and through that efforts what you will be doing yes you will convert this challenge into opportunity and the opportunity into strength of your organization okay if you are strong at human values and you have motives into your life then only it is possible okay then 
entrepreneur has inner feeling of accomplishment entrepreneur has inner feeling of accomplishment okay means this person okay within himself within himself or this person is self motivated in nature okay this person is self motivated in nature he has that inner feeling of accomplishment accomplishment means yes i should complete the task okay i should complete the task okay what is the task task is that okay this person has set certain goals related to his business he has set certain objectives related to his business okay so whenever he thinks about the objectives of the business yes i should complete the objectives this feeling should come from inside or it should be within the mind of this person okay he should be self motivated towards such type of accomplishment okay so and this entrepreneur he does has this inner, inner feeling of accomplishment okay so till now we have gone through yes three points which focuses on need achievement theory first one yes this person this entrepreneur yes he should be having achievement need okay this should be the characteristics within him if he wants to be successful yes as he likes to take risk okay this risk factor itself stimulates him to take greater efforts and the third thing he should be having the inner feeling of accomplishment okay there should be certain internal factors within him which motivates him to exploit opportunities okay with this with this there are certain characteristics which are present into the personality of entrepreneur okay as per uh, this thinker that is david maxland okay such type of entrepreneurs they are not or they don't work harder at routine works okay they want to overcome or they want to outcome of their activities to depend on their own skill they are interested in finding out the results of their decisions they prefer work hard at task that are really challenging okay so there are certain characteristics of this person that is entrepreneur according to thinker david maxland okay means at the routine works okay at the routine task okay in day to day business these people they are they don't work harder okay what they do they get the work done from others okay now then second thing is that always always when they will be seeing the outcome yes the outcome should be result of their own skill okay every outcome of their organization it should be yes it should be dependent on his own skill okay or he highlights those outcomes based on his own skill this person he is interested in finding out the results of their decisions okay this person he is interested in finding out the results of his decisions okay means some of the decisions he might have finalized related to his business so whatsoever decisions he has finalized related to his business what is the result what is the outcome whether the organization is benefited through his decisions or not okay he is curious about this results 
okay then he works harder at the challenging works itself okay if there are certain challenging task into his enterprise yes he takes 100% efforts to accomplish those task okay so this was the theory of need achievement means this person he should be having strong drive okay he should be having internal focus of control he should be having self control okay and he should give his 100% towards achievement of the yes objectives which he has laid down related to his business okay he takes his uh, or he gives his 100% efforts towards this okay then the other part or the third theory into your unit number second hagen's theory of status withdrawal okay it is developed by evert hagen it is also known as theory of social change okay hagen has attributed the withdrawal of status of a group as the starting point for entrepreneurship development process okay according to hagen entrepreneurship is a function of status withdrawal which focuses or which forces the members of a group who has lost its status to become aggressive and innovative and become entrepreneur okay now whenever we consider hagen's theory of status withdrawal okay traditional society becomes the one in which continuous technical progress takes place okay the general model of society considers the interrelationships among physical environments st social structure personality and culture economic growth is interwoven with political and social change forces that bring about social change and technological progress they are included okay loss of social status and respect of their social groups in the society has turned them to entrepreneurial activity okay now whenever we consider this theory okay what the thinker has suggested yes thinker suggests that yes in the traditional society there are certain changes okay for example previously there was a king system or kingdom system is it or some of the okay um, some of the warriors or um, okay if we wanted to conquer one uh, one of the places okay there used to be battle there used to be war and after that they used to conquer that place okay so this type of system was prevailing but now it is democracy right who rules yes the people rules right so there are certain changes into the society right there are certain changes into the society okay now in the same sense okay uh, status withdrawal means what status withdrawal means previously you were having a certain status in the society okay all of sudden due to some of the changes or changing pattern of the society your that status was withdrawn and someone um might be someone who was rival to you or other person other social group okay they conquered your place now the previous class or the previous group okay who was attaining certain position who was having certain position okay as their status was withdrawn as their status or position was withdrawn what they did okay they were always thinking about taking revenge right okay because their status was withdrawn okay now these people these people how do they take revenge or what they do after such type of status withdrawal yes these people they are motivated towards establishment of enterprise 
okay what again says again says that okay this community these groups the social groups what they do they establish their enterprises and through their enterprises they establish their position into the market okay this is the gist of your higgins theory of status withdraw okay in respect to this in respect to this there is an example of samurai people in japan now who are samurai people and what is their history and how it is related to status withdrawal okay let's see in japan in 60s a feudal group known as tokugawa came into power and brought about a peace okay this deprived the samurai of their traditional function as warriors the samurai and the wealthy peasants later played the innovative role in japan's industrial revolution social group which experiences a withdrawal of status in respect to this turns to entrepreneurial activity the group of individuals okay what to do yes they establish their enterprise and ask other to follow them okay in the other way in other way what they do okay they okay enter into a field they enter into a field where others okay maybe the employees or other prevailing people prevailing entrepreneurs they are forced to follow them okay in this way they become leaders in the society okay see whenever we consider the samurai group okay samurai group it was a group of warriors okay they used to conquer the places and all okay means somewhat somewhat they were violent in nature okay now the second part that is tokugawa okay tokugawa this group it was peace loving group okay now as per the changes in the society tokugawa they came into power okay and samurai okay previously as they were leaders okay their status the status of leadership it was withdrawn okay so what these uh, people did okay samurai group okay samurai group with some of the um, wealthy peasants okay wealthy peasants they established some of the enterprises okay now we know okay um, we know the definition of entrepreneur yes entrepreneur is the most active factor into your organization okay through his efforts through his efforts through his consistent efforts what he does yes he asks other or other people other entrepreneur other businessman to follow him right through his dynamism through his innovative and creative skills okay whatsoever he adopts into his enterprise okay he forces other people okay forces in the sense not direct force is done but indirectly he forces other people to follow him okay means he attains the previous position in different way okay now whenever some industries they are following you who are you then yes you are the leaders right okay you are the leader and others are the followers previously okay whenever you were ruling the country at the time also who okay who were, who were you you were the leader right okay and due to some reasons your status was withdrawn okay so how you reattain the position yes by establishing the enterprise okay so what higgins suggest what this person suggest he suggest that 
okay if your status is withdrawn okay if you are a um, strong community if you are a strong um, group and if your status is withdrawn then the group itself what they do they establish a enterprise after establishing the enterprise okay they innovate something they create something they create certain products goods or services okay through which they prove their distinctiveness and they introduce certain practices okay such practices they are distinct from others and indirectly they force others to follow them okay so this is your theory of status withdrawal okay so in the first theory yes we had focused on need achievement means you should be having that strong drive towards achievement of objectives of your organization and the second part yes what is the second part yes in this theory hegen's theory of status withdrawal yes if your status is withdrawn then surely what you do is you take efforts to uh, start a enterprise you run that enterprise successfully and try to gain the previous status okay hope so you have understood all this two theories in today's lecture okay so we conclude this lecture thank you